Hey friends, it's Moultrie with Rumble Lab, where pumped you're going to be joining us on the mission to Mars. Let's go ahead and open up our Mars crate and get started on our first mission, the Wiggle Car. So now, when we dive in, first thing we're going to see is our mission one parts. We're going to see some flyers. We'll see our mission to Mars comic, which has all your missions in it. Aha, mission number one. See a badge. Don't get crazy about this because you only earn it after you complete the first mission. So we'll go ahead and set this off to the side. And then we have our survival guide, which you'll have to reference between here and here to basically figure out some of the steps. So now when we look inside our Mars comic, we'll see our first project is the wiggle car. For the wiggle car, we're trying to familiarize ourselves with the parts so we're ready when problems come up. When you look at the instruction page, it tells us that we first need to look over the safety section. The safety section can be found in the Mars survival guide under the foundation. So you flip into your survival guide, look for your foundations, page four, flip to page four, and read our safety rules. The first rule is to avoid electrical shorts. The second rule is to not eat anything. And the third rule is for the crusher. We'll cover that in a different mission. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is look over foundations. It can be found in your survival guide. and It shows you how to do things like cut dowels and make them easier to install. You should read through it, but we're gonna work through it as we build the wiggle car. The last thing we need to do is complete the simple circuit activity. For this activity, all we're trying to do is build a circuit that will make our motor turn. First, you need to put the battery in your battery pack. You may have a little screw in it, and if you do, just go ahead and take it out and throw that away. Oh yeah, and before you put the battery in, be sure to check that the battery pack is turned off. Then go ahead and insert your battery. It's only going to go in one way. And to push it in all the way, we like to use leverage. So we'll take our little screwdriver like this and just gently pop it into place. Now we're ready to hook up our circuit. We'll take one of our small alligator clips and clip it to the wire. You have to make sure you clip it to the actual metal part of the wire, not the insulation like this. The insulation doesn't conduct electricity and your circuit won't work if it's not hooked up to a conductor. Then connect the other end of the alligator clip to the motor and repeat this for the other wire coming from the battery. Switch it on and the motor should come to life. Congrats, you've just completed your first activity. One more thing that you'll notice in the survival guide, there's this little block that says log entry. This is where you should do a little experiment, figure out what's going on, and jot it down in your research log. Now we're ready to get started building the car. To build the car, we're first going to build a body, and the body is basically two black plates that are joined by a dowel. And to make joining the dowel to the body easier, we'll color the dowel with the crayon. You should have learned about this in the foundation section. And since we want to cut the dowels three quarter inches long, we're going to use our ruler in the foundation section to figure out what three quarters of an inch is. Then use the part of the wire strippers that are meant for cutting and slowly cut around the dowel. I don't like to cut all the way through because the dowel can go flying, so if you cut part of the way through all the way around, then you can just break it off. And repeat this for a second dowel. Now we can install these dowels in the corners of the black plates. Doing this might be kind of hard, so don't be afraid to ask an adult for help. Then push the two black plates together. To make it a little bit easier, you can push down on a hard surface like a table. Now we're going to install the motor onto the motor mount. This is really hard and you're probably going to need an adult's help. Now we're going to add some wheels. To do that, we're going to need to cut two dowels roughly the same length. It doesn't really matter how long they are. If the end of the dowel is kind of sharp after cutting it, you can rub it on a hard surface like one of the gears to knock the splinters off. Then we're going to cut some pieces of slide stop. The slide stop is the bendy piece of tubing. We need two for this wheel, but we'll need four for both, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all of them. For the black plate, the four corner holes will not allow a dowel to rotate. 
We want this dowel to rotate so the wheels can spin, so we're going to install it next to one of those holes. With the dowel in place, slip a washer on, then slip your slide stop on. Then repeat this on the other side. Now we can go ahead and install the wheel. Just push one on each side of the dowel. After pushing the wheels on, the slide stop may have moved, so you may have to readjust it. Then, make sure that the wheel can rotate freely. You might have to wiggle it around and adjust it like we learned in foundations. Now for the other wheel, we're going to do the same thing except for this time we're going to add a pulley. So color the dowel to make installing the pulley easier. Like we learned in foundations, installing the dowel one way on the pulley is easier than the other. So pay attention to that. Push a piece of slide stop on, then a washer, and then install this in one of the holes next to the corner. Fix it in place with another washer and piece of slide stop, add your wheels, and then adjust everything so that it can rotate freely. Now we're going to install our motor. Make sure the motor shaft is facing the same side as the pulley on the wheel. Then, using your countersunk screw, attach the motor mount to the body and make sure the screw goes through this way so that the end of the screw doesn't get in the way. Use your wrench to hold the nut and then to tighten the screw it's righty tighty lefty loosey. Oh yeah, and a quick hack that you might find helpful is if you rub your screwdriver on some magnets, it'll make your screwdriver magnetic, which is really helpful for holding screws when you're trying to screw them in. You have some magnets laying around in your miscellaneous crate, so dig them out and rub them on your screwdriver. I think you're really going to find that hack helpful. Now we're going to give the wiggle car its wiggle by attaching a black block to the wheel. This will make the wheel in balance and the whole car will vibrate when the axle turns. The instructions say to attach the black block to the pulley, but it's actually easier to attach it to one of the wheels that are on the same axle as the pulley. Add a pulley to the motor shaft, then attach the motor to the axle with a rubber band. It's super important for the two pulleys to be aligned, so you're going to have to adjust the motor and maybe the pulley on the axle in order to get them to line up. Now we're going to mount the battery pack. There are a couple of ways you can do it. The first way you can just put a rubber band around the car and hold the battery pack in place. But the way that we like better is using a dowel like this and you just loop a rubber band over both sides of the dowel. The last thing we need to do is hook the motor up. You should already know how to do this if you completed the simple circuit activity. Basically you hook one wire of the battery up to one wire of the motor. In my case the end of the wire broke so I'm going to have to restrip it. To strip a wire, all you do is clamp the wire in the right notch and then pull. And a lot of people will twist the end of the wire to keep it from fraying. Then hook your connection back up and you're ready to rock and roll. Alright, now time to test things out. Turn your motor on and let it rip. Try switching out some pulleys or tweaking the design, changing where the wheels are located. Just play around with it. And most of all, have fun. Awesome job. I think it's safe to say that you earned this first badge, so display it with pride. This next mission is going to be awesome, but we're going to challenge you to figure things out a little bit more, just like an engineer in space would. So work through the activities in your survival guide so that you're ready. That's all for now. Over and out.